Welcome everyone to Hufi News. Uh, today is September 5th, 2018, and this is our throwback session to where we're here to give you all our price predictions from yesterday, and we compare it to what occurred in the market for today. Now, that's why I have a split screen on the monitor right now. The left side, you can see this is Coin Market Cap website. This has all the top cryptocurrencies by market capitalization, and I just want to show you what is the overall feel of the market right now and a lot of these altcoins are down double digits you might be surprised no one have told you about this on youtube nobody forecasted the huge downside movement in the market except for us but since you're not a member of ours on the history news patreon page you was not able to get this type of analysis you need to come on over because we are forecasting the price movement before it actually happens. That is one of the most powerful things that we are offering for our members. And it's only $3 a month. That's very vital for you to be uh, knowledgeable and understanding what can occur in the market before it actually happens. And we did that yesterday on our video. We forecasted the market to move to the downside for a lot of these altcoins. And that's why we're going to do a throwback. Because I want you to listen to what I said in our video yesterday and I want you to pay attention to the price action today that is currently happening and that's how you got to position yourself in the market and if you're not a member if you don't understand language analysis then you definitely need to come on over the minimum cost is only three dollars a month that's like 10 cents a day for a full month of your subscription and then from there you guys will have access to the before price movement before it actually occurs before anyone else and now you're going to see videos on YouTube talking about the market has a huge sell-off or the bear market continues but it's too late you have to be in the forefront of the market moves you cannot be on the back end and so many other people who are chartists just don't get that so we do look forward to y'all coming over to our Houston News Patreon page uh, the link is going to be in the description uh, we're not twisting your arm we're not trying to persuade you but literally, we're here to give you the evidence and the proof that we understand what we're doing. So um, this video that you see on the right side of the screen was only for our members. We uploaded this video uh, yesterday around 5 o'clock p.m. And in the caption of this video, I wrote, the alts are still showing weakness today in trading. But it's not a surprise because we've been speaking of that to all of our members also, Bitcoin is trying to keep its strength as it was recording. Bitcoin is leaning towards moving lower. So I have already told you that Bitcoin is giving us indications of market weakness and what to expect. So I just want you to listen um, do a throwback section for Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, Bitcoin Cash and possibly EOS. It just depends how long we are going in time. But first one up is going to be Bitcoin. I'm going to put it on this left side. This is the current action in Bitcoin right now. And the right side is what my analysis was for today's price action. Okay. Showing that again today for Bitcoin. And as we go into a smaller time frame, uh, you, you all can definitely see here that Bitcoin continues to show us that it has some very is, is hesitant into breaking $7,400. So the three hour chart for Bitcoin, again, you can see here that where we receive all this high volume continues to show us that $7,400 is getting the same type of feel. OK, the volume continues to increase the higher that we come up to that $7,400. So what we need to see right now in Bitcoin is that continuation of, of precursors of strength bars, which at this particular moment we are not getting. So it literally tells me that uh, Bitcoin cannot break that $7,320. Or even that 70, yeah, 7320 uh, price level. In the last couple of hour bars, definitely we have seen indications of some stockpile coming in the market. So my analysis is for uh, Bitcoin to move to the downside. But as long as it stays above 7320, I'm still looking for consolidation and ability for Bitcoin to move to the upside. If it breaks 7320 uh, going into tomorrow's trading, then definitely we possibly come all the way back down to these resistance areas i'm sorry these support areas of 7240 7200 or even a little lower than that 
depending on how much volume comes into this particular space. So the process that is going on right now, Bitcoin is stockpiled, is definitely getting inundated. Uh, we need to see whether or not the market participants are able to uphold price above 73.20, because if so, Bitcoin will continue to move to the upside. But if not, then expect Bitcoin to move lower in price. So right now, they definitely are able to hold price above 73.20. So you would expect uh, Bitcoin to continue to move to the upside. But given how much stop is coming to the market, the volume is increasing. Definitely tells me that eventually the market will become weak and then push back down to the downside. So if you're in Bitcoin, definitely you want to acknowledge that fact. I do see uh, weakness coming into the market for Bitcoin. So now the next one on the list is going to be Ethereum. So we're looking at Ethereum right now. This currency is down 2.62 percent. Uh, last trade was 38,766 Satoshi's. And, you know, I've been telling you all that I'm still looking for Ethereum to continue to move to the downside. 35,000, 30,000 Satoshi's is the area that I'm looking for Ethereum to come and hold support. And we're definitely going in that direction on a daily basis. Now, I want you all to pay attention to the amount of volume that's coming to the market uh, for Ethereum the last two days definitely tells us that the market for this currency is becoming inundated and weakness is, is definitely abounding in Ethereum at this particular moment. And given the widespread down bars in the market for Ethereum, definitely shows me that this currency will continue to move to the downside. That is going to be my analysis. Um, understand, though, that it can come back up to run at 39,000 Satoshi area as an area of resistance. It could come to 39,500 as well. We just need to see whether or not this three hour bar is able to close above, because if so, then yes, uh, Ethereum can move a little bit higher to the upside, but just only back to prior areas of resistance. OK, and that's literally once you move to a one hour bar, you do see some strength coming into the market for Ethereum. So I am looking for this currency to move to the upside in the short term. Thirty nine thousand, uh, maybe a little higher than that is where I'm expecting Ethereum to trade to. And then I will be looking for more of weakness to come into the market and Ethereum move back down to the downside. So uh, my analysis is for Bitcoin, I'm sorry, for Ethereum to move to the upside only to catch some resistance. It might come up to, to 39,600, but overall, I'm still seeing uh, the long term trajectory of, of Ethereum is continuation to the downside. So now the next one on the list is going to be Ripple. Uh, we're looking at Ripple right now. This currency is down 2.39%. Last trade was 44,980 Satoshis. And this is the third day that we are seeing Ripple or XRP continuing its moving to the downside. And obviously you can tell that 44,000, uh, maybe a, a dip lower than that, is going to be the area of support. So definitely not seeing a buy opportunity in XRP at this particular time. Three hour chart gives us the same depiction, the same story. Weakness is here. I uh, don't see any strength coming into the market for XRP at this particular time. So obviously I am looking for XRP to continue to move lower. Ultimately, I'm looking for the market to try to hold support around 44,000 Satoshi. So we got about a thousand Satoshi to the downside to go. It could definitely move a lot lower than that, given the fact that the market in the previous, in the background of this chart previously, uh, continue and it held support around 42,000 Satoshi. So uh, that is also a logical area of support. We just need to see whether or not XRP is going to give us more weakness around that 44,000 Satoshi price level. So now we're looking at the one hour chart for XRP. You can see here that the market is still giving us weakness. Uh, just like with Ethereum, we are coding support right now. So uh, definitely the probability of higher prices is there in the short term. 45,500, maybe even 46, but long term still see overall market weakness coming into the market for Ripple XRP. So do not expect this currency to move substantially high in price. As a matter of fact, expect the continuation to the downside to continue. So what do you know? I won't be able to get to the other two analysis for bitcoin cash or eos you guys should have been a member of ours on our if you news patreon page in order to catch that and if you're not you know what to do the link's going to be in the description of the video 
if you're interested but again this is just a throwback opportunities are missed but the cryptocurrency space all financial marketing always has profitable opportunities out there you just got to understand where they are and how to predict them so i do look forward to seeing you all there in the meantime make sure you all maintain your profitability